Dear Younger Me, You're going to go through a lot of things in your life, and not all of them are going to be positive, but in the end, you will be okay, and you will get through it. I just want to tell you things that I've gone through that I wish I didn't, but I want to tell you so you can change those things. For one, being disabled is something you can't control. I know in the past you've been really down on yourself because of it. You may even hate yourself because of it and think that it's your fault. But it's not your fault. I don't really know who to blame for it really. If it was myself or someone else's fault. I don't think there's really like a person to blame for it. Every day is hard and I'm not going to lie about it. Every day is a struggle. But you do have help from your family and friends. And don't think of it as a negative thing all the time. Don't get down on yourself because of it. There's going to be a time in your life where you're going to feel like you're completely alone, that everybody hates you, and that you're not worthy of doing things. And that's not the way to think. Think positively, because for the longest time I've just been mad at everyone and everything, and there's no reason to be mad about anything. You should be a positive person. That's how a lot of people know you is you being your bubbly, happy self around other people. The one thing I really hope you wouldn't do is eat junk food. Because ever since I started eating junk food, I made my weight go up a lot. I gained 40 pounds since I was 13. And I really wish I didn't do that because I had this face of acne, I kind of look disgusting, I feel like I look disgusting to other people, and I just felt really insecure. And I gained a lot of weight, and I just didn't want to show my body a lot of the time. So please for me, don't eat junk food every day. Eat healthy and exercise, because even today I'm still doing that, eating better and exercising, because I didn't do that in my teens, and I really wish I did that. So please, exercise and eat healthy. <laughs> It'll be good for the both of us in the end. The other thing I want to tell you is at 13 I had a boyfriend and I honestly think I wasn't ready for it because I was young and I didn't actually think about it. He asked me to be his girlfriend. I said yes. Please think about it first <laughs> because honestly even now I think that I was too young to actually date someone at 13 wait for the right person just wait until you're ready because 13 to me is the un today and you honestly didn't know what you were doing you just said yes without thinking and you really should think before you act in high school you will have a crush on this guy please talk to him don't just have all these feelings inside and just don't say anything there was one point i think in my senior year that i wanted to ask him to prom I remember I inhaled and right before I opened my mouth and asked him, I chickened out. Please actually ask him and talk to him more because I wish it would have gone somewhere to see if it would have. I don't know if it would have, but you really should tell him that you like him because I held it in for like two years and I wish I would have told him. There's gonna be a time where like couples annoy you, <laughs> seeing couples everywhere. It really can't be helped because I know it bothers you because you feel like you're lonely and you feel jealous of them because they have someone and you don't. Don't be upset. One day you will find the right guy who will love you for you and won't mind that you're a Disney fan or a fan of boy bands or all those other things because I know you're afraid that no one will love that part of you because you would feel like they think you're childish for you liking Disney so much and other things that a lot of people aren't a fan of. It's okay, don't change who you are because of it. Don't change because of a guy you like who doesn't like the things that you like. Just be yourself. Don't be someone that you think that they want you to be. Just dress the way you want, show the, per the person you are to other people. Just show what you like, even if it is wearing band merch or Disney merch or whatever. One day you will find the right guy. You will make mistakes in your life, but that's okay because that is a part of being human. Just think before you act, because there's a lot of times that I wish I didn't do things, but I did. It's because I didn't actually think about it first. So please, please think before you do something, because it will really help you. 
and it will make you a better person and not feel guilty about doing things you shouldn't have done because there are things I regret doing, but it's too late to change it. So the most you can do is make the most of it and learn from it and make sure those things that you wish didn't happen don't happen again. Don't get down on yourself all the time. I know there are a lot of times where you're gonna hate yourself and hate the person that you are because of things you're not proud of or the things you were born with, but don't be so hard on yourself. I know you think so negatively on yourself all the time, even when you don't tell your family or friends about it because you hide it, because you don't want them to know how much you're hurting inside. It's okay to talk about it. There are a lot of times I wish I could have talked about it in middle school when I was 13 and 14, but I didn't. And even in high school, it bothered me even more. But don't get so down on yourself because that's not the way to live. You should be happy with your life and be happy for the things you have and happy for the things you get to do. I know there's a lot of times you just feel like giving up and you just don't wanna be around anyone or do anything, but you will regret that later on in life. You will be happy that you get to do the things you wanted to do and that you have done. Just think positively on yourself. You're not a horrible person. Don't think that you're a burden on anybody just because you're different. It's okay to be different. There's so many things I wish I could tell you if we ever had the chance to meet in person, but I hope you will take note of everything that I've said and change the things that I wish I didn't do, like gaining all that weight or thinking before acting. You can make our life better and you're the one who can change it into a better life for us. You won't feel insecure. You won't feel like you're a burden. You won't feel so negative on yourself all the time. Do the things I wish I did, like talking to my crush in high school or actually eating better and not gaining so much weight. Just all those things. You're in charge of how my life ends up because in the end, what you do affects me right now. It's okay, Allie, you'll be fine. And if I had the chance to talk to you, I definitely would. I would tell you a lot of things I regret, a lot of things that I'm really happy about in my life, and things I would tell you that you have to look forward to. But I hope in the end you'll make the right decisions and you'll be happy with your life. Bye, Allie.